If form holds, this week's Shell Houston Open will be notable for something we could not possibly predict, but rest assured it will be very, very odd. Perhaps a player will unzip his golf bag only to watch a family of parakeets fly out. Or maybe a golf ball will explode into a puff of smoke upon being struck by the leader on the 18th hole on Sunday, as if it's one of those old gag gifts. Or this being Texas, we might see an especially deep divot yield an oil geyser. Welcome to the season of weird on the PGA Tour, a year in which freakish once-in-a-lifetime events seem almost commonplace. Last week, in the first round of the Valero Texas Open, Aaron Baddeley pulled his drive into the trees at the par 4 17th hole. He went down, looked at his ball, realized he was going to have to take an unplayable lie, marched back to the tee, reloaded, hit his third shot into the hole, the amazing birdie three. The same day that happened, Phil Mickelson saw the head of his eight iron fly off while he was trying to hit a fairway bunker shot. Meanwhile, Troy Merritt hit a shot in which the face of his iron caved in as if it had been struck with a hammer. Maybe all of this weirdness at the Texas Open wouldn't have been so jarring if it hadn't come on the heels of the Florida swing in the Sunshine State where everything was going crazy. At Doral, eventual winner Dustin Johnson and then eventual runner-up J.B. Holmes aced the 227-yard fourth hole in a span of 24 minutes. At Bay Hill, where no one had made a two on a par five in the 35-year history of the tournament, Daniel Berger and then Zach Johnson did exactly that on consecutive days on the weekend. Berger with a four iron at the sixth, Johnson with a five iron at the 16th. Keep in mind this is also a season in which we've seen Tiger, afflicted with the chip yips, shoot a career worst 82 in Phoenix and fall all the way to 96 in the world as of last week. Where will it all end in this season of weird? There's no telling what might happen in Houston, but I'm expecting a healthy dose of weird. That goes especially for the Masters next week, where you might as well pencil in a very weird, surprising winner. Me, I'm picking Arnold Palmer.